How to start a business, one, two, three. Hi, this is Chris. Hi, this is Marnie. And we're bringing you our three-point play today from How to Start a Business, one, two, three. Um, Marnie, why don't you tell uh, our audience a little bit about our past uh, history? Uh, well, we uh, got out of college and started um, our first business, which was dealing, working with schools with fundraising and went on to own several different types of businesses in different um, arenas, anything from real estate, property management, hair salon, franchises, um, several different uh, and things. And let me tell you, the hair salon was my favorite. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't own that one anymore. But I think uh, it's been about 12 different businesses maybe that mm -hmm. we've started. We have bought a couple, um, sold most of them, still own a couple. Mm -hmm. And what's maybe a little different about the advice that we're going to be passing on is that we actually have done it and we are still doing it. In fact, right now we're starting two two other companies right which are uh, internet based businesses one is called let's go banners.com and it's signs and banners and marketing help seo mm -hmm. and then the other one is uh hawaii trip report it's all about hawaii and visiting hawaii and honeymooning or getting married or whatever you're wanting to come to hawaii for um we're really that's probably like our fun trip because right. we we actually um pulled the trigger a couple months ago and we did move um from midwest from indiana mm -hmm. we we moved to the big island in hawaii yeah that's been a, a long-term goal of ours um and we are so excited but what uh what i think we're going to teach is the basics of starting a business there seems to be several you know seven different components to a business that need to be tended to on a regular basis and what I think that people will get out of this is realizing that if they can focus on seven different areas and, can, and make sure that they manage those areas correctly, um, they will be able to be successful in business. One of the topics I'm going to have um, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to review a book called The E-Myth, Why Most Businesses um, Fail and What to Do About It. And um, it's actually been reprinted in a couple different forms. Um, currently, I think it's called The E-Myth Revisited. Uh -huh. It's by um, a gentleman named Michael Gerber. And um, when we started our first business in 1993, I can almost remember the day somebody handed me a copy of that book. Right. Um, profound impact on me uh, and Marty and on our business. And basically, the nuts and bolts of what we, we talk about doing is creating a system mm -hmm. which is your business not creating a job for you 95% mm -hmm. um, of the people that I meet the small business owners are technicians and they actually are in their business every day doing something to to fulfill a task or to make money um, and you know and that's a real ego thing I mean I've gotten heated debates with a lot of people that right. you know nobody can do it like I can Chris you know maybe it works for you but you know right the, the problem is is that eventually they'll burn out they won't they'll become bitter they'll wake up realizing they've never taken a vacation they'll wake up realizing they've never really lived life because they've been so busy doing everything in their business I had the uh, pleasure of meeting thousands of business owners in one of the companies we ran for 14 years and 95% of these people were disgruntled and if you've owned a small business for any length of time without having systems behind you you probably know what I mean and mm -hmm. it's easy to get sucked in so we're going to talk about that how to how to avoid that trap pick up a copy of the e-myth if you haven't and get started on it it's great reading if you don't get it or you don't like what you're reading that's okay um, I'm just here to suggest it right and I think the goal here is that there can be components of a business that you do like and you do want to do every day the problem is most people will migrate only to those things and neglect the other areas and when those other areas get neglected and they're not handled correctly, that's where failure can start. So our goal would be able would be to at least make you aware of these other areas, make sure they're being tended to in some way, show you ways that you can make sure they're being tended to, whether you do them or somebody else, and learn how to release some of the um, control over different parts of the business, so would, which in turn will allow you to have freedoms. And we've had a lot of freedom with our companies we've owned. Um, we've been able to travel. We spent just a ton of time with our kids. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, I won't go into a business that relies on me. I just won't do it. Um, one of the criteria before we choose a business is we have to have a business that we can have staff working in it, replica right. systems. Um, you know, just the basic difference. Look at, you know, any local coffee shop.
versus Starbucks. I mean, that's the difference I'm talking about. Now, I'm not a Starbucks. I'm, you know, I only aspire to have a company that's successful. But you can apply it to any kind of business. Um, and the Emoth calls it a franchise prototype. So we'll get three points today. This is Chris. This is Marnie. So long until next time. Bye.